I remember the first time I saw these shoes and it was when um, yeah, I saw a guy at school came in for the first time and in the morning walking into school in this shoe I was, I was shocked. It was like the, something my eyes had never seen before. I was really kind of intrigued by it. What was the world like in 1984? There must have been a big reaction to these shoes. They were really disruptive then. I think this was a kind of, I would say, breaking the rules. The runner needed a new education, how to run, mm -hmm. because it gave him a kind of completely different feeling of running. I'm sure for Adidas, the first time there was that really big crossover, that these shoes, um, you could say something about yourself, that not just that you're a runner, but that you're a, you know, a guy who values design and that you want to make a statement on the street and you can really look super unique by wearing this stuff. And this was the first time we said, uh, let's do something which is really appealing. And the idea was to go back to the Olympic collection. These shoes were so colorful and we just took over the color theme and put it in the shoes here. Moving on from the 1000 series into shoes like Flux, is a, it's a really interesting process. But for me, it's been a real honor to be able to take a shoe that's so important to Adidas and so important to Adidas Originals and to try and be respectful to it and evolve something new from that language. And we're taking that ultra technical running shoe from the 80s to make an ultra contemporary lifestyle shoe. It's not about running fast, it's about looking as fast as possible when you're standing still. 